Hi, I'm Tom Bassett, and in this brief demo, I'm going to show you three use cases for dynamic forms. Let's jump into a lead record to get started. If you haven't already migrated to dynamic forms, press on edit page and you should find the standard record detail component, which should already be on the page itself. You can then upgrade to dynamic forms using the wizard and select a layout to migrate fields from. I'm not gonna do this because I've already done this step in my org. Now for the first use case. Using dynamic forms, you can split up record details over multiple tabs, perhaps where you have a lot of different fields. For example, in this case, I have created a tab for the individual details, and I've created another tab for the company details. On the company details tab, I've added a field section, and I've also drag and dropped the fields related to the company on this tab. This allows users an easier interface and this way information could perhaps be grouped together in a more logical fashion. My next example of how to use dynamic forms is how to control field visibility for a new record. So you can see here on the lead source, I've applied visibility and I'm deliberately targeting created by first name equals blank. This is because when I'm creating a record, the created by will not have been set at this point until I press save. What this means is in effect, this field will only show up when a new lead is being created. Additionally, I want email to become required at a later point in the process. I have therefore added the email field onto the page twice. The first variant of this field doesn't have any UI behavior set and will only display when the lead status equals open, not contacted. The second version, this is the same field, is now set to required and will show when a lead is not in the status of open contacted. Let's create a new lead and see how this works in effect. Navigating to the lead tab, let's press on new. You can see here that lead source appears, which I'm gonna set as web. I'm gonna give this lead a last name. And you can also see that the email is currently optional. And those new fields I added to the company details now appear at the bottom of the screen under a section called company details. I'm now gonna press save and you can see that my lead has been created. On the person details tab, the lead source has now disappeared. This is because the created by is now set. And so therefore my visibility condition is no longer met and the field is therefore hidden. You can see that the email field is currently optional. When I edit this, there's no required asterisks. If I change the lead to working contacted, you can see that I'm now prompted to complete this field because it has now been made required via my conditional visibility rule. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe and add any feedback in the comments. Thanks.